Hi guys, welcome to Learning Points YouTube channel. We were discussing on Laravel's topics. Now recently, uh, Laravel releases their new feature that is Laravel 8. So Laravel 8 coming with uh, new features. There is lots of new changes, lots of modification. We can see here there is Laravel Jetstream coming and this models directory is coming and some modification or improvements and the another important thing is routing namespace updates so we need to learn about what is the new features so this is the laravel release note and we can see there is the laravel jade stream basically you can say this is the replacement of the laravel ui version when you used to work with the lower version of laravel you must be using the laravel ui so that is the composite equal laravel ui all i have used that so when you install this package we can then can install a front end scaffolding using the ui artisan command and you can see here using the artisan command we are installing bootstrap we are installing view react generate the login registration scaffolding we are using the UI bootstrap with auth. So now in Laravel 8, Laravel Jade Streams provides all those things that is login, registration, email verification, two factor authentication session, APIs, and lots of things. So basically, you can say that this is the upgraded version of Laravel UI. In Laravel 8, it is provide Tailwind CSS in previous version basically we were using the bootstrap so now the second thing is the model directory actually it was the most demanded things while we have separate folder for controllers we have separate folder for views separate folder for routes why not for model in this version of laravel laravel 8 provides a separate folder for models so in this app we can see there is a model folder and inside the models here user.php is a model student.php is a model so if you see in the old version of laravel you can see there was no separate folder or directory for models so now this is one more new things in laravel 8 so now the model factory classes uh, I just comparing two version of Laravel that is Laravel 7 point and Laravel 8 and in the old version to write factory just define and we can use the anonymous function for that right so if we check same in the Laravel 8 we can see the factory section comes to class based I will discuss each topic with separate video also so now the next thing is migration scaffolding this is most important things for medium to large site project management laravel provides a strong migration functionality for any reason while migrating your database sometimes maybe your migration not complete sometimes half of your migration done it may happen due to any reason maybe errors or timeout issues at all that time it is very helpful i am telling you what actually doing here while migrating it will just make a single sql file about those which are successfully migrated so if you just read on your migration then it will just check this file and migrate only those are remaining to migrate so we can realize how helpful things is there then another job batching the job batching is also a very helpful feature for medium to large size of project basically it is setting up some rules or instruction which needs to do so you can see here some code there is the batch and we are setting some process so there are one two three four five process i have set it so if the all batches is running successfully then this function will call and if the first batch job is failure detected then catch a function is called and when the batch is finished 
finally function is calling so, so now the next things in the laravel 8 it's improved rate limiting the, actually these kind of things will use when you want to limit something we can say if someone access your page very rapidly or uploading more and more files randomly to your site or requesting for pages randomly then we can control it so here we can see in the per minute there is thousand that means in a minute they can access this maximum of thousand times after that if he needs then he needs to wait for minute here also you can see there is uploads for uploads we can control it i am setting in, a, in my site the maximum 100 files can be uploaded per minute for more upload he needs to wait for a minute so in this way we can see all things and can set our limitation to access your sites now the improved maintenance mode this is the very exciting feature we will introduce in laravel 8 sometimes when you upload files or folders or changing something or uploading database or anything that time we are taking our site as a maintenance mode here laravel 8 provides a feature that is in spite of maintenance mode, you can access this website. Laravel 8 provides a secret key to access the website during the maintenance mode. So we can see there is a PHP artisan down and we can save the secret key for that. So when any user trying to access these things, basically using the URL, they can access. But if he provides the secret key along with the url then in spite of maintenance mode they can access the site and another things is a closer dispatch or chain basically closer is a php function that can be created without a specific name basically this is the closer function this is basically using if you using dispatch function and if it is got any errors it moves to the cache sections so when you using these and inside the function if i got any error it will throw error in the cache section another new things that is dynamic blade component sometimes you may need to render a component but not know which component to run until runtime then you can use the laravel's default dynamic content so to use the component you have to use this tag and after that the dynamic component so this is the same tags to use dynamic component and there is a small improvement in the event listener basically it is not actually new in laravel 8 but there is some changes in this version of laravel uh, there are basically three major improvements basically you can pass the closer here the next thing you can make it the queueable that is the queueable these things the last thing is there is delay functionality provides so using the delay function we can save the time now we have introduced the time testing helper it is basically used for testing purpose when testing something we need to modify the time written by the helper the latest laravel a new helper added you can see you set your time in the millisecond second minute hours days week and years so you can go back to the time also and you can travel to the explicit time also and you can return the present time also now the another new things is the artisan serve improvements in our previous laravel version when we have written anything in env file and if you run the laravel project if we want to get effect for that changes from env file we need to restart the server but here the laravel getting this powerful things that is without refreshing we can 
get effect from the env settings in laravel 8 we don't need to restart the server it is automatically detect and changes as for env settings and there is the tailwind pagination views in laravel previous version basically we use bootstrap css now in laravel 8 it's introduced the tailwind css it is more powerful and highly customizable if you still want to use bootstrap there is a bootstrap 3 and 4 also available and the last and the most powerful things you should know about this that is the routing namespace updates everyone needs to know about these changes at least before starting laravel 8 previously in a route we can create our url and can set methods name with that controller name this is no need of namespacing please see the difference here is my old version of routes that is web.php we have assigned the url and after that the name of the controller with the function name and this is the name of the route we can use this but in laravel 8 there will be no automatic namespacing by default in laravel 8 there will be no automatic namespacing by default controller route definition should be defined using standard php callable syntax that is we need to use the name of the controller and after that this please see the syntax here is the url after that we are using the student controller classes and after that we are providing the name of the method and this is the routes name it is same but these things are basically changes so it's all about laravel new features and modification i will show you these things practically how working in our upcoming video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if any doubts please comment this video thank you bye bye